Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to New Cities. Your eyes don't deceive you in the slightest. This map is blank, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to do something a little bit unorthodox and something I wouldn't usually do with any game on the channel. I'm going to start again because I feel like I've gotten a little bit more accustomed to the tools available in the game. And I feel like we could design something a little bit better, a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient if we start again. It's not like we were super invested in the previous city that we built. So let's just take this opportunity while we have it to see what we can do. And on top of that, we're also playing in a testing version of New Cities, which if you're wondering, you can access too. Let me show you how that's done. So you want to go to your Steam library. You want to right click on New Cities. You want to go to Properties. You want to go to this tab here, which says Bases, and you can use this drop down menu to select the testing branch. I can't click on it right now because the game's running. So what we'll do is we'll use another game that people ask me about testing branches for. We'll use Software Inc. as an example. Right click it, properties, betas, drop down menu. There's everything you need to know. Not every game does this, but games in early access often do. If you want to get into the latest version of new cities, that's how you do it. You go in, you select the testing branch and you go crazy. And so here we are in the county of Dorksville, because I'm original with my names, where I'm thinking we're going to start building right down here, right on this little section of land. I think it's a good looking space for some development. And I think what we're going to do is sort of use a bit of a top down view here just so I can design things properly. We're going to get some streets. We're going to go to avenues. And we're going to say, let's just outline this square nice and simply like that. Let's just bulldoze that bit to see if we can maybe not have that divide in there. I think we're going to have to have that divide in there, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll have two of them like that just to kind of have it be a little bit symmetrical. And then we can go in and maybe, you know what? We'll leave that divide where it is. We'll leave that square alone for the time being maybe that can be services or something like that because i want to try and actually design a city from the middle out so i want this area to be really really dense so what i'm thinking we'll do while we have a bit of money is we'll go in and we'll try and just maybe take that road out maybe go like this up to there and across and then try and do the same over here, up to there and across. It'd be nice if we could get rid of that little divide there as well, but I don't think that's going to happen. So let's just put one on that side and put one there as well. And that way everything is nice and symmetrical. And what I'm thinking we'll do, obviously we're going to need to get some zones. And that's where some of the new stuff in New Cities is going to come into play in just a second. Uh, let's get some zones though. And let's say that we're going to do from here to there, from there to there. And honestly, yes, we are going to be doing some uh, some pretty basic grids just to start with, because this is going to be just a little bit more efficient is is what it's going to be. We could go in and, uh, you know, try and put everything a little bit closer together. I don't really think we need to be doing that, though. Uh, so on this side, we're just going to do exactly the same thing that we just did you'll notice i'm avoiding the existing uh, intersections on the road those are going to come in useful a little bit later on too not planning this by the way this isn't like something i've gone and planned in detail but i just feel like what we can do with those existing intersections is you know connect them well for example connect these two together so you can get across there then these ones can connect out elsewhere later on as well but that's that's just, you know, general thinking. Anyway, let's take a look at one of the new things on the testing branch. It is going to be these tools right here at the top of zoning. What we can do is go to residential and we can just zone the entirety of that street with this tool. We can paint in some zoning. We can paint even more zoning, paint even more zoning or individual little squares if we uh, if we so desire, which I'll be honest, I don't really want to do. So we're not going to be doing that. What I am going to do, though, is commercial along these sections of uh, of road here. Uh, so just this entire sort of middle space is going to be filled up with commercial zoning. We'll not bother doing up there and we'll not do down there either. And then what we can do is residential 
on all of those roads, nice and uh, nice and simply. All of those roads, nice and simply. And by the way, you can also do little cul-de-sacs like this. This is something that, uh, oh, we have some divides in these roads. Oh no, oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> oh no, why, why are they there? Oh, that's terrible. Okay, well, we're gonna have to just live with those. Um, yeah, this little cul-de-sac thing, this is something I have known about and people commented saying like, hey man, you can zone at the end of roads. I meant to draw attention to it in one of the previous episodes. I don't remember why I didn't. I think I might've just forgot to do it if I'm totally honest. Uh, but that is totally a thing you can do. It's really, really cool and it looks cool when it all builds. So that is, that is a thing I know about. Anyway, let's speed things up. Let's get people moving in here. And let's see what kind of uh, what kind of stuff we can do. Also, you know what? Really quick, property tax. Let's bring that to like uh, seven and a half percent. Let's go with seven point five percent. And what do we got? We have a lot of information here. So, new city we've done. First roads we've done. First house we've done. We need agricultural zones. We'll do that in a second. Uh, we don't have farms yet, and we have a hundred people. So that is fine. We need to get stores. We have stores. They built amazingly. Let's figure out where the farms are going to go. Because what I'm also trying to do here is use a lot of this information to make sure things are in cool areas. So land value is really good down here around the coast. So what I'm thinking we do is we build farms in like this area or even like over here, like way away from the city. I think that would be the best place for farms. So... You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's you know, let's not talk about it. Let's just you know a little less conversation, a little more building is is what we need here. Quite expensive to do this, mind you, but we'll do we'll do like a big just sort of set of avenues. We probably don't need avenues. Thinking about it, we probably really don't need avenues. I'm probably going to make farms that look really boring if I just use avenues. So let me just I don't want to blueprint that either. Uh, let me bulldoze that because. Avenues are on farms, just no. We're not we're not we're not about that life. We are gonna be about the streets around farm life. It is still kind of expensive, but that's kind of okay. And I think what we'll do is something like this, and then we'll do an avenue here. And we'll do something like this and over to there. And then that avenue can go ahead and connect all the way over to the city, which will be fantastic. The thing is, we're obviously going to need to sort of, you know, get those connections and make them exist. But uh, first off, farms. Let's let's get all of these in here and let's get them building. So we'll speed things up a little bit. There's a bunch of farms. Probably not going to be doing much for us right now since they're not actually connected to the city, but that's totally fine by me. They exist and that is kind of all that's... Uh, all that matters in terms of zoning still plenty of demand for residential so what i want to do is blueprint and i want to say from there going to there we want to grab all of that space and we're basically just going to duplicate it is what we're going to do so we'll go ahead 1.29 million boom and then we'll go to blueprint again and we're going to say that uh, we probably want to re... Eh, we'll not bother renaming it. It's probably fine. Uh, let's just grab all of this space as well. And go ahead and place it on that side. So that all of that space builds up and the population continues to grow, which will be fantastic. I'm not going to go ahead and place any commercial zoning until there is demand for it, though. That is something I'm going to be sticking to. And to be honest, I'm also going to be like, you know what? Bring that property tax up. Let's bring that property tax up here a little bit. Let's see if we can get more people living in here. So, you know, we'll, we'll just see what we can do. At 5,000 people, we can build a school, though. So I guess we just keep on keeping on with the uh, with the old blueprints here. So uh, no save blueprints. That's fine. Let me just build you. And let me go to blueprints again. Let me go to what's the new blueprint tool? New blueprint from here going all the way up to there and we'll just go ahead and build that as well and i know this is super boring looking i i i'm aware of that that's kind of intentional right now because again i want this to kind of be like a city uh city center type space so what we're probably going to do 
is go ahead and do another area kind of like this in uh, in just a second where we can have a bunch of a uh, bunch of shops and stuff like that kind of a more open space for maybe higher density buildings at some point that is uh, that is kind of the plan we just kind of need to you know keep getting more people in here so let's i guess well, how's traffic doing? That's probably a really important question, isn't it? So traffic wise, uh, it is a little bit rough in there, actually, which is interesting that this early on, we're having some traffic problems. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little, little weirded out by that. What is this? So th this is something I'm realizing. We have a, a, a loan right now. Can we? Okay, we're overdrawn. Let's not do that. Can we take a another loan? Is that is that a thing we can do? We can. And then repay at 3%, I guess. I guess we have a bit more money, so we've just taken a, a, a bigger loan. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the loans thing does or how it works, but we'll just assume that we have more money that we can play with. That's that's the logic we're gonna go by here. Uh let's try and bring the numbers up population-wise a little bit. So let's go to here. Let's go to Avenue. And we'll just build sort of out and uh around like this. Let's build on this side as well, because again, I'm trying to go for a bit of symmetry here. I know this isn't the most exciting layout, but I like the idea that this would one day be like super urban. So that's that's kind of what we're going for. Uh, let's also do this and this, because like I said, this area, the, these areas are going to be a little bit different. So something kind of like that. And then those can be areas for shops or, or something like that. And uh, I think what we could also do is go to blueprints and do that. I know that's a blueprint from this side, but we're kind of mirroring the two designs. That's that's 100% on purpose. So new blueprint from here, and then copy that to that side. So that'll be kind of cool. That'll give us a nice big space. We kind of have these roads in here, and then all of that I kind of want to copy to here. Right, so that that whole thing, if we go to uh, new blueprint, we want to go from here, grab. Oh, we can't grab all of it. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, I think we can go from here, though, right? So we could go like that. So we could grab all of that space, which is enormous, um, but it would go 4.9 million. Oh, we didn't grab all of it. Okay, that's fine. That's that's not the end of the world. Let's keep things paused for a second while we just fix that a little bit. Uh, we want to grab all of all of you. So grab all of that and then place it right there. And that's almost grabbed all of it. That's, again, not really the end of the world. We can just manually connect these guys up a little bit. And uh, that's fine. So that gives us just a big area, a huge, huge area for a bunch of zoning. It's very, very generic zoning. It's all just grids and squares. And I know it's not super exciting, but that's totally fine. Uh, let's put some angles in just because we can on that side. I think that's kind of appropriate to have some angles there. And let's speed things up. Let's let's try and get this whole place to, uh, to build a little bit. There is demand for agriculture. There is demand for some factories as well. I think we could probably deal with the agricultural demands, to be totally honest. Uh, so let's go ahead and do just that. We'll do a little road from there to there and a little road from there to there. Fill all of that up with farming space, which is hopefully going to happen. We do have a lot of demand for factories, which is interesting because I feel like factories, I feel like we can't staff them yet. I'm pretty sure we can't actually staff factories right now. I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and just build some space for, for factories, I guess. Uh, let's use this. There's like a thick line there. We'll use that as kind of a backbone for sort of an industrial area. And I guess we'll go and say, you know, do uh, do some roads like this or something. I, I don't know. Uh, there and there. So that'll be some space for factories. I, I'm not 100% sure these are actually going to build. Maybe they will. Maybe they... I, I doubt it. I do... I do doubt it because while the demand exists, we don't have anybody that can actually work in them. So 
this uh, probably isn't all that necessary. But whatever. We're not going to stress about it. We'll have these for later on when we actually can get people working in factories. And that's that's the important part. Also, can I upgrade this road? There we go. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and just paint in a bunch of factories on in there. And uh, again, we'll have that for future reference. Is, uh, is what we'll have there. Any luck on farms building? Not really. That's fine. Uh, any luck on more people moving in? Not really. That is also fine. I am not 100% sure what we do next. Because I have a funny feeling that uh, the game isn't very happy with me right now. I, I have a funny feeling I've ever so slightly broken the simulation. Uh, is, is what I feel like I might have done here. But that's okay. Let's, uh, let's build this out a little bit. Let's cap that off as well. And let's see if we can connect. I mean, how, how far is this like super dense area going to go? I guess is is the first question we need to uh, answer here. We'll do this. And we'll do this. And we'll kind of have this go in a... We'll have this go in like a nice, uh, nice sort of extension of the, the grid, right? We'll have it go that way. And then we'll have it sort of cap off here. And we'll have that run straight up to the industrial space. That's a million a million dollars to connect it up to there. And that's probably okay. Uh, we'll bring this up to here and cap that off. And maybe that's the part where this super dense area starts kind of getting phased out a little bit. Because uh, we could maybe go... Well, actually, we can go over like this as well, which isn't too bad. And we could do, I don't know if they, uh, I don't know if this actually works, but uh, we could do something like this as well. We'll go, we'll go like, hmm, we'll go like this. So again, kind of an extension of that like same, I think that'll be like a big corridor of commercial zoning, which is corridor of commercial, oh, a little bit of alliteration there. Love it. All right. We'll extend this, I guess, up to here we do have the money to do this i'm wondering if we're going to have the money to connect everything together the way i want to we'll keep that corridor going and then let's bring this road out to here and just how far we have a lot of distance to cover here we have so much distance to cover here but that's that's all right we'll make it work we'll go from this spot to that corner i'm wondering can i take a little bit more of a loan please i absolutely can uh, we'll go from that spot to that spot. Eventually, this will get replaced with the highway, by the way, just just to be clear. Uh, we'll go from that spot to that spot. And we'll go from there all the way down to here and from the, there all the way up to there. So now that's all connected together, people can actually drive out to work on the farms, technically. They can also get to the factories, which is probably for the best. So now we just need the population to increase, which it's not really doing because there's not uh <laughs> there's not really any demand for anything which is a little little awkward but that's uh that's probably fine there we go the po the population's growing again uh let's get just a few more you know areas for farming out here oh there we go it is actually growing as well perfect uh we'll throw a bunch of farming just sort of along that road and we should be there we go we're five thousand people beautiful so population's growing we can go ahead and get a school we can go ahead and get uh, City Hall at 20,000 people, which I imagine is going to be quite easy to get, right? I can't imagine 20,000 people is going to be too hard to get with all the uh, all the zoning we've done here. Let's place a school there, though. And let's place a school there. And uh, we could go ahead and maybe do a school there. And maybe a school just there as well. Just to really try and get education going really, really well in uh in, in all of this space. That's that's kind of kind of a goal here. Is to uh you know get education going in a in a really good way. Now looking at demand, I realize we should see factories start when people start getting actually educated, we should see factories uh popping up really, really well. We are seeing a lot of the residential spaces actually getting built, which is fantastic. And agricultural demand is growing as well. Yeah, we are getting a bunch of farms out here. So I expect a lot of this space will get completely filled. 
And I expect, honestly, I would, I reckon we could get 50,000 people in here today. I really do. I really, really think we could probably get 50,000 people in here really, really quickly. Because, I mean, you know, I like to think I know what I'm doing at this point. Not gonna lie. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I think we could get 50,000 people in here. Also, thinking about it, we are probably probably going to want to upgrade a lot of these roads to uh to boulevards at some point but uh what i'm also thinking is we could put city hall like right in the middle here that is a thing we could do or we could make a really nice area for city hall kind of on its own like put city hall say down here by the water let's do that let's put city hall by the water let's speed things up a little bit so we can actually see uh the dots nice and clearly and so it's daytime and also, so the population kind of continues to fill up all the uh, all the space that we have. Because I'm thinking City Hall would just look really nice right down here. So, we can't see the dots right now. And we can see them right about... Uh, no, so that's good. Uh, let's see then. So, City Hall. I don't remember how big it is. So, that's going to be fun. Uh, let's do this and let's do this and we'll do a little road like that and then let's go ahead and just do something like this and then we'll do like a little fancy sort of flick out like that and that seems nice like that seems like a good area for it we could do a few kind of interesting things down there if we really wanted to and i think we will maybe just try and do sort of a an interesting set of roads down here turn this into like a really fancy space or something so something kind of like that, right? That can be like a... I don't want to call it a government district because in this YouTube channel, calling anything a government district is treason. But um, I think that'll be kind of cool. Let's do... Let's let's just get a little avenue in there. This area is going to be more unique and I'm not really sure how I'm going to connect it to everything, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Actually, you know what? This is perfect where it is because all of these like vertical avenues are two big squares long so this goes to exactly where it needs to go which is good so this can go across like that we'll connect to there and we'll connect to there we have this bit right in the middle which is good uh except what i think we'll do is bring this up to here and then have it maybe do something kind of interesting as well where it sort of comes in and, and loops around a little bit and then maybe this avenue can continue to say there. And this avenue could continue to say there. And we could we could actually connect that one straight over, which is pretty cool. But I think what I'm going to do is just connect them like this. So again, it kind of follows that same idea where we have like all the curved kind of angled roads and stuff like that. I just think it's interesting. It's just a little bit more uh, unique for this area. And, uh, you know, I think it'll serve really nicely for a city hall down there. I think that'll look really cool. Like, right on the water. Just a really nice area. We can put some nice parks out there. It's going to be beautiful, is, is what it's going to be. So, let's just speed things up a little bit. We have 23.9 million to play with as well. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to blueprint. And we are going to grab all of that space. And we are going to duplicate it and we are going to duplicate it and we're going to we're going to duplicate it something like that oh that bit actually can't be duplicated i'll tell you what we'll do then let's bulldoze you and ooh, that does follow the grid line doesn't it i think it does uh let's bulldoze these guys as well so bring that all back a little bit and then let's see if we can maybe bring some roads up to there no it's not gonna let us okay so it's below the water line that's why we can't do that that makes sense tell you what we'll do then bulldoze those bits of road just to fix the just to fix the zoning on them so it's you know as good as it can get and then i guess what we do is so these roads are fine is what i'm thinking so bulldoze bulldoze can i go to there no all right so that needs to go as well and then you go away, you go away, and this goes into there, this goes into there. In fact, no, thinking about it, let's just do our angled thing again. 
so let's go. That's about 45. And that's about 45. We'll bulldoze you. We'll bulldoze you. And that seems okay. We'll take these bits of road out too, just to fix the, uh, you know, the intersections on it. So up to there, up to there. And that's, you know, maybe a little bit crazy, maybe a little bit unnecessary, but I think it looks kind of cool. And that's what we're going for. So let's get some zoning into that space, get some zoning into all of that space. And that looks okay to me. I, I really like it. Again, a bit weird, but it does the job that it needs to do. So I'm not going to complain. Let's uh, let's speed things up. Let's get some zoning in there. We'll hopefully one day get a bunch of shops in the middle of all of that. And if we don't, we'll fill it with services. Either way, we should see people start moving in. Although they might need more. Yeah, they're going to need more farms. I guess the game does say that you're going to cover the map in farms, doesn't it? Let's go a bit crazy with, um, with farmland. Let's go out to here. Let's go to there. Uh, let's go like that. And let's go like that as well. And then this angled section of Avenue. If we speed things up so I can see the dots, we can go ahead and say, let's just continue it straight through all of that space. I know it's going to go through some existing farms, some existing roads, all that stuff. But straight through to there. So that it just, you know, it's it's just an easy connection straight through. And honestly, what I think I'm going to do is, is this right here. Where all of these roads continue. They go straight through the avenue. And uh, that way, you know, we can just fill all of that space with farms. Is what we can do. Just every little bit of it. Just farms after farms after farms. That way people aren't going to complain. They're not going to be like, hey man. I need, I need more residential, residential. I need more agricultural zoning. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't need more agricultural zoning. You've got all the agricultural zoning in the world. Literally all of it. So there we go. I would be very surprised to see them complain about the amount of agricultural zoning that they now have. I, uh, I'm not going to lie. That seems, that seems like a lot is, is what that seems like. You remember when I said we could get to 50,000 people today? Yeah, not, uh, <laughs> not so sure about that. I'm not even sure we're going to get to 20,000 people today. But this feels like a better start, you know? This also looks slightly... Eh, you know, I realize I've made something here that looks a little... The shape and layout of of my... of my uh, You know what? <laughs> we're, we're not even going to... Not even going to... Not even going to go there. <laughs> not even going to go there. I don't care. I've just made it worse, to be fair. By rounding off that corner, I've made it a lot worse. But whatever. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. It is... This city is standing proud. It is standing uh, firm. It is standing solid. Uh, they are readily erecting new buildings. It's fine. All right? It is fine. Let's. I don't want to hear a single word about the shape or layout of any of the roads. I'm also going to try and make a conscious effort here just to ever so slightly uh, mask and hide the shape and layout of my roads because this always happens. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Looks a little bit less proud of itself. So that is uh, something I can happily say is, is <laughs> definitely an improvement. <laughs> oh, man. Why does this always happen? Why does that always happen? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every city builder. You always inadvertently end up building a and then at some point it just you just you, you realize what you've done and you draw attention to it and you're like, I shouldn't draw attention to it, because people are gonna be like, oh, we all know what you were thinking about, buddy. And I you know I wasn't, alright? I think about a lot of things, but <laughs> apparently not the shape that my my cities might end up looking all right let's just let's just move on i think this is a um i think that's kind of a cool layout having those like angled roads and stuff like that i don't want to connect them all together that's the thing i'm not gonna do because i kind of want to try and force people to use the avenues and we will probably get we will get some boulevards in there at some point uh that's for sure especially those like main roads going up and down there they'll need to be boulevards but uh i think this looks kind of cool I, I genuinely think this looks kind of cool. I'm kind of happy with it. So let's see what uh, let's see what we can do. Let's skip that middle bit 
just because we might as well. And uh, let's do that and that. We'll just kind of keep going back and forth just gradually to uh, to see what kind of stuff we can we can do with all of this. Uh, so this side, we can't really build much in there. And I'm trying to avoid putting uh, roads coming off these horizontal uh, sections. So I guess what we'll do is... Let's speed things up again so I can see the dots properly. Because I keep doing that. I keep not being able to see the dots. And it's a little, a little frustrating, not going to lie. But I guess what we could do here is... Um, Oh, the dots have gone again. They'll be back, though. It's fine. Come on, dots. And pause. That will do. Uh, so we'll go to there. And we'll go to there. And then up here, we'll just sort of do this. And that area can just be a little bit less dense, I guess. It's going to be, you know, whatever it is. Uh, then over here, we want to do this. And I think we just, yeah. So this goes to here as well. And then we'll just kind of keep going back and forth. And it, a lot of this is symmetry, you know? A lot, I, what, what can I say? A lot of this, um, a lot of the layout of this, this city center is very much going to just be about the, the symmetry of it all. Because I think it's going to look kind of cool when it's, if it ends up really, you know, dense. I just do. I think I, I genuinely want to see if we can uh, make this space really, really dense. And also bulldoze you, because that's annoying me. Can I can I can I do that without? Uh ooh, that might work actually. Hold on a minute. Give me a little straight to there. And then continue you to there. And there we go. That looks alright. Was it longer on that side? Oh, we didn't. Oh. Why didn't we? Did I do that wrong? You go there, you go. And we didn't do one there. Oh. Uh. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. That's fine. So that's all right. That is all fine. Then in here, what we do is go like this, go like this, I think. And then we go like this and like that. Yeah, so that's exactly right. Then up here, what we can do is sort of, I guess we could go off of there. So that seems all right. What are we what are we doing here again? So off of there, off of there, and then skip one, I guess. And then go back and forth. Yeah, this this works out really well. Oh, that's I, I say that. You know, that one's having a bit of trouble, but that's all right. Uh, we'll just keep going back and forth and back and forth to fill up all that space. Uh, where does this one come from? So this one comes from here. And then we'll just fill all of this as we do with uh, with residential zoning. And uh, just let it build. You know, the demand the demand isn't necessarily there for all of the zoning that I'm placing, but it will eventually everything will fill up. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Again, I'm trying to avoid putting too much zoning on avenues because I just feel like we might have a better time if we, if we avoid that. So let's just stick to our little cul-de-sac, stick to our little roads, all that good stuff. Uh, stick to these spaces, stick to the ends of these roads as well, which I can put parks on. We did do that in the first little city that we built here. Uh, so, you know, we'll go ahead and just uh, fill up all of that. I think I got everything. I did. So let's go to this side and do exactly that same thing where all of this space gets nicely filled up. So there we go. Done here as well. And then off to that right side as well. We're just going to fill up all of you and then all of you and the cul-de-sacs as well, because those are kind of, you know, my favorite thing. I love those so much. I genuinely, I, I think I mentioned it at the start of this video. I love them so much. Let's speed things up then and see what happens. Hopefully that all builds. We, ooh, we can get police stations. Good. That's really important. Uh, we're also, what have we got here? Hold on a minute. Uh, so... Mixed-use zones are available. Fantastic. If someone builds a mansion, they'll sponsor a zoo. A mansion will develop at residential value tier 9, density 0. Okay, so we can get police stations and we can get mixed zoning, which is kind of cool. Let's just focus on education for a second because we have, what, one, two, three, four schools. Let's do another two schools. So let's do one at the end of that little road and let's do one at the end of that little road and that seems like a good couple of places for them 
We've also just got a library. So let's do... We have enough money for them. So let's do a library there and a library there, which seems really cool. And then for police stations, I'm thinking... I mean, their coverage is really good, let's be honest. Uh, crime is pretty rough down here, though. So let's do a police station there. And we can't really afford another one, unfortunately. That's okay. We can bring fines and fees up, though. So let's go to high on that. And let's speed things up. Oh, wow, we just got a lot. We just got so much money. Okay. Uh, let's do another police station, then. Just to really, really bring that crime down in this. In fact, you know what? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. Let's let's get rid of you and get rid of you for a second. The reason I want rid of those police stations is because their coverage is overlapping so much there. And there's a lot of this space down here doesn't have anything in it. But what we could do, if we put one there and then one there, their coverage is, is pretty much meeting in the middle, which just makes so much more sense. So that that's what you want to do. You want to get your police stations covering the areas like that, I think. And it does seem like it has pretty much eradicated crime done there. So let's go ahead and put a police station. Uh, let's see. Those two would be overlapping. Let's go for there. And then let's go for right there. And that, again, will give us really, really good uh, policing coverage, I think. I might be wrong on that, but I, I like to imagine that's what it would do. Uh, the bank won't loan us more money. We're fine, I think. Um, we are fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're not. We're not worried. We aren't running out of money. We're not. We're fine. We are totally fine. We just need to wait on people moving in. That's all we're doing. We're just waiting on the population getting here because the demand exists. We're just, you know, things just need time to build. All right. That's all we're waiting on. We are totally fine. There is no budget crisis. It is. It is, it is, it's, it's fake news. All right. I don't want to say it. I, you know, they made me. All right. It is, it is, it is a budget hoax is what it is. All right. It is a budget hoax. That's <laughs> what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. But budget hoax. Um, <laughs> I have no idea why factories aren't building. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. I feel like they might be too far away from everybody. I I do get the feeling the factories might just be like way too far away from everyone to uh to actually get built. Let me I, I might put that to the test as well. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I feel like that might have something to do with it. I don't remember what I did before to get them to actually build, so I guess we're gonna be waiting on those is is what we're gonna be doing. How about farms? Yeah, they're still building as well. Have I you know what I've done? I've done the exact thing I do in City Skylines all the time, where I've built so much that I just have to kind of sit around and wait now for it all to build. And it's really annoying when I do that, because it's not its its not fun to sit around and just wait for things to happen. It's my own fault, though. I do it all the time. So I guess what we'll do, just before we wrap things up, let's bring a couple of roads out like this. And can I go across there? I totally can. Uh, let's go to there. Let's go to there. And let's try and just, like, plan what this space is going to look like out here, because we really might as well. Uh, so from there to that spot, from there to that spot. And we'll just sort of keep going back a little bit with these uh, these angled parts. And so these two line up kind of nicely. And I guess this could just keep going until it meets that bit. And obviously this bit of road, that, that gap is thinner than that gap, but that's kind of intentional um i guess we could bring you straight down there maybe do that as well and that seems okay that doesn't seem like uh doesn't seem like the end of the world we could go ahead and do maybe this kind of thing just to cap off that space and i think we can build something kind of cool down there you know have like some fancy tourist area or or something like that i think that'll look kind of interesting uh, population's still climbing, though, so I think, yeah, there are still plenty of spaces that still need to build. There are, there are still plenty of spaces that still need to build. We are seeing some traffic problems, for sure. There are definitely a lot of people trying to get around on roads that don't necessarily support a lot of people. So we are going to want to do something about that at some point. 
which we absolutely will do. I just need to, you know, unlock the roads that'll let me do it. But uh, that's fine. Let's have a little look at some overlays then. So uh, pollution is not great in that area. Crime is not amazing in that area. Education is doing all right, actually. It's got a pretty good spread across everywhere. Prosperity is all right. Value isn't amazing in the middle, but it gets a little better on the outskirts. Density is picking up in the middle, and traffic is also picking up where it's nice and dense. So, like I said, a little bit unorthodox to start a new map in, uh, you know, episode three of a, of a series. I don't usually do this, but I think this looks better than what we had before. There was kind of more of a plan for like a proper city here than there was before. And then we've got all of our farms way, way away out here. Which I think is also going to just look a lot better. Kind of having those off on their own. Then the factories kind of being a little bit outside the main bulk of the city. I just think it's going to look better. We just kind of need to get the factories in here first. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It has been my absolute pleasure as always. We'll get back up to 50,000 people next episode. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, we just got to wait on the, the people moving in is what we're going to is uh, what we got to do. So thank you so much for watching. It has been my absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.